Hello everyone, welcome back to the another awesome Firebase tutorial. Today we are going to learn a Flutter Fire CLI. Instead of using manual method to set up your Flutter project with Firebase in a different platform, CLI provide a easiest way to set up your Flutter project with Firebase at once within a just 2-3 command. For a Firebase CLI, you just need to do two things. That is, first Flutter Fire CLI depend on the underlying Firebase CLI. If you haven't already done it, make sure you have the Firebase CLI installed on your machine. And if not, make sure you have a Node.js on your machine. Simply, if you want to use the Firebase CLI to set up your Flutter project for Android, Wave, iOS, Windows, Mac at once, you need to do a two things that is you need to install the npm in your system you can search how to install npm in windows linux mac this is the easiest process this is just a two three command if you enter two three command you have easily installed the npm in your system or it provide here the command this is the command and next an important thing is next install the flutter fire cli by running following command if you hit this command flutter fire cli is installed in your system if you have do it at once you didn't need to be installed every time okay and use case and next things and you can also hit this command this is the documentation it has mentioned each and every steps in easiest way before you have create a project you need to do uh, two things first thing is you need to install the npm in your system and second thing that you need to do is the install the flutter fire cli in your system if you have installed this two then what does you need to do is here come to here version to view the current version of to check in your system firebase cli is installed or not to check this command let's copy this command i have installed firebase flutter firebase cli in, in many times that's why i'm not doing this go there and let's open the terminal and let's let's hit this command and you can see 1.0.1 .1 version is available in my system i have used flutter fire cli many times that's why i'm not install it in every time i have just check it after this all you are ready to use the flutter fire cli in your system we are going to do it from zero level first i have first created the brand new flutter project flutter create create i'll give the name of my flutter project which is eg cli eg flutter cli okay and i'll just hit it and your brand new flutter project is ready you can use the new project as well or you can use your existing project if you want to connect in your existing project you can do it but why i am creating a new project i will show you from the scratch from the zero level first i have created the brand new flutter project and i'll open this project in my vs code which is this is eg flutter cli first we have run this project okay and after that we have start to connect our flutter project with firebase let's run it during this time we have also created the firebase project as well first go to the console.firebase.google.com and second thing that you need to do is every time you need to log in if you have used from after long time after you have successfully logged in you can see this is my account i'm going to create a new firebase project i'll give the name to flutter easy cli and i'll just continue it and i don't need a gemini here and i didn't need a google analytics as well just i'll disable it and create a project here we are creating a firebase project here in firebase and we are running our flutter project here just check it if everything is okay or not see everything is perfect our app is working perfectly and our app is run without any error after that next thing that we have need to do is our firebase project is ready here just continue it firebase especially provide for flutter except flutter then you can need to do it by manually for flutter especially firebase provide a easiest way you can see here flutter option only a flutter option just click this flutter option and add firebase to your flutter app the easiest way to get you start is to use the flutter fire cli and install the firebase cli that i have already mentioned you this is and run firebase login if you have used this firebase cli method at first you just copy this command from here firebase login and just hit it on the terminal just hit it i have already logged in but i'll show you you here you can see already logged in if you have not logged in then it's open the dialog box and just by select your mail account you can easily log in 
safely. You didn't need to do anything. And second, install the Flutter SDK that already in our system. Create a Flutter project to run Flutter Create that we have just done. First step is successfully done. That is install the Firebase CLI. Only things and login in Firebase. Next, click on next. By using these two command, we have easily connect our Flutter project in or every platform from any directory run this command you can run this command in your any directory in your terminal but we have done it in our project directory just copy it and just paste it here and hit it the enter and package flutter fire cli is currently active at version 1.0.1 .1. and install executable flutter firebase activate here you can see firebase is already activated after you have hit this command and if you have installed firebase cli long time before then it is activate for you next things then at the root of your flutter project directory run this command this is the important command and only one command that you have need to do is it create the firebase option dot dot file contain the everything that you have need to just copy this command from here and just paste it here and hit the enter that's it this is after doing this it's automatically connect in your flutter project here you can see just first read it found 24 firebase project select project it already detect this and next thing that i have mentioned for you is sometime it didn't detect this project if it didn't detect your project then it asks your project name from where you have got the project name go to the android app level build.gradle here is your project name it asks if it not detect your project automatically then it asks the your project name just copy this from here next thing that we have required is we need to select on which platform we have required the firebase which platform should you configure configuration support use a arrow key or space to select i have do it in every platform but if you didn't require it on any of this platform you can unselect it by using the space key that's it you can see web is unselected but i have do it in each and every platform and if you require it in every platform then didn't do it anything so just hit the enter now it will create the everything that we have required in each of the platform register a new firebase android app on firebase project first it will be register on android ios and remaining all let's see and wait until it it takes some time okay it is already com completed on android ios mac os wave and last it have it has done on the windows you can see we have successfully set up our flutter project with firebase in every platform it has generated a firebase option dot dot file generated successfully with the firebase app id next thing that we need to do is just next from here in firebase cli this is the only two three line that we need to do manually is copy it from here and before you have paste it we have required a firebase score everyone knows that for that you need to add the firebase score in your system you can add it by different way i have do it using the command shift p in my mac device if you are on windows then control shift plus p and here is the add dependency you have not used this before then you need to search it and just add dependency and we have required a firebase score firebase score package yeah firebase core is successfully added in our system and just close this terminal and here we need to make it async and next things that we have required is just copy this all from here and just paste it below this we have then we have imported manually and import the firebase core here and firebase option here it will already detect default firebase option dot current platform if you are on android it will be detected on android if you are is in the ios it will be detected on ios and next things that we have required we need to initialize it for that widget flutter binding dot ensure initialize widget flutter binding dot ensure initialize before run the app we have first see the firebase option file here this is the firebase option that we have automatically generated by using the CRI, the file generated by Flutter Fire CLI, it generated all the required things for Android, iOS, and Wave. You can see we didn't need to do anything. That's why I'm not focusing on it. After you have do it all, let's terminate the app first. We have run it again to show we have successfully do it or not. First we have run it on iOS, then we have do it on Android. Before you have run your app on simulator. 
first for ios only first go to the ios on the port file section here is the platform ios you need to uncomment it and just increase this version 12 to 13 firebase code require at least ios 13 and just uncomment it and just increase 12 from the 13 and close this and run the app that's it for ios let's see if we have faced any error or not if we have faced any error then we have solved it we have wait until it i have show you the is an every step in really see i have didn't do anything we have successfully run it on the ios we are without facing any error you can see i'll just check it here our app is perfectly working congratulations you have successfully set up firebase on ios next i'll terminate this ios simulator and open the android emulator and i'll show you it is working on android platform or not i'll close this simulator and i'll open the emulator here it takes some time as compared to simulator to run the firebase project in android emulator it takes some time for the first time wait until it i'll show you the every process without skipping anything okay let's run it on the android run start debugging to use the manual process it show the different error everyone message me we have faced the different type of error during connect flutter project with firebase if you are facing this error then use the flutter fire cli it is the safest method and easy to set up it takes less time just two three command if you have first installed the cli and npm then next for the next time you didn't do anything you can see i have just set up in all platform by hitting just two three command you need to grow up by the time of ai skip this all manual method and use the cli cli is the best way easiest way and firebase especially provide us for flutter and use it take advantage of it it takes some time during this time we have goes to the firebase and we have continue to console here and if you see your project just reload from here and you can see the three platform it will be flutter easy cli this is our project and it will be set up on this project has android ios and web we have successfully set up it on android ios and web you can see congratulations man you have successfully set up on android without facing any error you can see i have show you my debug console in real time this is my time you can see it i'm not skip anything i have show you from the scratch the android app is also working perfectly this is my default flutter app by this way you can use flutter fire cli in your project if you have faced any problem then comment down it below or you can join my discord server pin the discord server link is in the comment and you can find it in my youtube bio as well okay we have successfully set up on android and ios it will be work on the wave as well i am not test it okay bye bye that's it for today's video we'll meet you in the next video